Taking care of your skin, it's obviously hard enough when it's cold out, but this common grooming necessity can make it worse. Ow. How do I prevent whiteheads after I wax? Ooh, that looks painful, doesn't it? Jeez. You guys, luckily you guys don't have to do that, <laughs> but there's a couple of reasons for that. Basically, when you wax, especially on the face, because the hairs tend to be finer and thinner around these areas, you can have a greater chance of them breaking off just under the surface during the waxing process. So, a day or two later, what can happen is when they start to grow, it causes a little irritation, which fills up with pus, sounds good, doesn't it? And voila, you have a whitehead, yep. which is actually an ingrown hair in this situation. It's just because it's gotten infected around that hair. So for some people with really light hair, it may be hard to avoid, but more frequent waxing really helps and makes sure to you know, keep you from getting these things over and over again. But make sure the surface is clean before you wax because that's gonna decrease how, you know, how much it's gonna get infected around.